G'day, I'm David Hughes from Swazi. I'm here with my buddy Tim from Donk. We're heading down to the Copeland car park about 20 minutes south of Fox Glacier. We're going to fly into the Karangarua Valley for a spot of chamois and tar hunting. Why don't you come along? I've never been up the Karangarua Valley before, but Tim reckons it's a really good spot. And for me, the buzz is getting out into the New Zealand backcountry. In this place, it's really accessible for hunting. We've got three huts up the valley. We've got Castle Flat, we've got Lame Duck Hut, which is a New Zealand Deer Stalkers Association hut. And right up the top is Christmas Flat, which is uh, where we're going to try and get to today. It's a very good area. The head of the Karangarua, Christmas Flat, it uh, gets well utilised, good tar numbers and good bulls come out of that area. Yeah, we fly a lot of hunters up to um, the Horace Walker hunt in the Douglas and Christmas Flat up the head of the Karangarua. we hunting on our left here, uh, hunting right there. Well, a lot of those bluffs on the right hand side is good. The next side is over to the hunt there now, Christmas Flat hunt. Yeah, they might have lunch ready for you a little bit like. It's sweet isn't it? We've just turned up at Christmas Flat Hut and there's a couple of dog guys here doing maintenance. This is a classic backcountry hut and we're pretty bloody lucky to have them. It's just great for hunters and trampers. Hey guys, how's going? It's a cool hut, just a bit of spot maintenance. Yeah, we try to get up to these huts uh, once a year to try and maintain them and give them a clean up, make sure they're up to standard. So we maintain 28 huts here in South Westland. It's good to see them, the huts getting used. I mean, we do spend quite a bit on the maintenance and upkeep. Uh, you got anything for me to do? We got a gun rack inside, you could scroll onto the wall. Take the tail. So here we go here, Davy. This is the gun safe that the New Zealand Deer Stalks Association has paid for. You know, I'll admit, at first I actually wondered about the gun safe idea, but the more I think about it, especially with hunters and trampers sharing huts, I reckon it's a bloody good idea. Well, sun's out. And that means guns out. We've got to that time of day where the animals are starting to move around, heading out to, to feed. There's three up on the face there that we can see at the moment just coming out for the plan of attack and how we could get a bit closer and have a better look at them. We're going to get our skates on and move quickly across and see if we can't cut them off or, or see where they've gone to. But uh, we're up where the animals are. We're sort of chasing these tar, but we've come across this creek and it's just got these sheer rock faces either side of it and the clag is starting to come in a wee bit. Daylight's fading, so we might head back down the hill. See if those duck fellas have got our dinner ready. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm staying in a hut, I'm always curious to see who's been in here before me. Yeah, I reckon uh, most of the huts in South Wesleyan are pretty well used, you know, because South Wesleyan offers some of the best hunting in the country. I don't think many people are signing the hut box, which is a real shame, you know. If the hut burns down, you know, we need those uh, numbers to say, hey look, this hut here gets so many bed nights a year, can we replace it? You know, we want to get those numbers so uh, the hut's being used and we can come in here and maintain it to our best ability. Well, it's not bad hard to fill in a hut block. No, it's a good place to leave your intentions as well from a safety point of view. Well, if everyone filled in a hut block, we'd get the funding, we'd be sweet. For me, tar hunting, I always have one thing in my mind, and that's um, you're going to be hunting in tiger country. When you get up there into those tops, you'll start to see animals. The animals are here, that's, that's a given fact. And so from, from a hunting perspective, you're hunting in some of the most beautiful country anywhere on the planet, 
and you're hunting, in my opinion, what is the most majestic animal on the whole planet. The, the tar, for me, nothing comes close. Tar become a bit of a problem for the department when they get into high numbers, as they tend to mob up and they'll really do some damage to vegetation. You can see around here, there's pretty heavy browse on the likes of this broom, and even on the tussocky grasses all around here. And hunters can do their bit to help us out. What I'd actually like to do is to try and shoot a few nannies because often hunters are always after the bulls, which is fantastic, we all are. But I think it also helps with keeping the population down. Take a few nannies out, you know, shoot your bull first, but take a few nannies out because it really does help the ecosystem too. So it's a um, nanny and um, she looks pretty good condition so I'm going to get some great back steaks and some legs and have some mighty fine eating. James is just about to come back and pick us up and we're heading out so on the way we're going to go down to Creswick Flat in the Landsborough. We've got a new hut that's going to be built down there so we're going to go check it out. So this is a Creswick flat hut up here, you know, it sleeps four people. It's getting a bit run down though, you know, we just haven't been getting the numbers of people staying here to justify maintaining it, basically. It's a bit of an old classic, isn't it? it smells that way too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think this hut's pretty much had its day. Yeah, well, there's some good news on that front. There's a bloke by the name of Barry Smith. He uh, passed away not so long ago, and he left us a crest of $124,000. So, new hut on Creswick Flat. That's pretty awesome. That's fantastic, isn't it? What a great thing to do. Yeah. Hey, so you must be um, pretty chuffed to hear the news about they're going to stick a new hut in here, James. Yeah, that'll be really good. It'll make a big difference having a new hut. A uh, bit more room and a bit drier. Be good. So the reality is with the huts, if people aren't seen to be using them, then we could lose them. So my message to hunters and trampers, and it's not hard, is fill in the hut books, pay your hut fees, maybe even help to volunteer a little bit of work on the huts and the tracks, and just let Doc see that the huts are being used. That way, we all get to share in this amazing New Zealand backcountry.